Nathan, we're on the verge of the World Para Athletics Championships getting underway. You're one of the first athletes in action on Thursday morning. How excited are you to get out on the track and start competing? Yeah, I can't wait. You know, we've been here for four days already and, uh, you know, they're just putting the finishing touches on everything and getting ready to race now. You know, I'm, I'm raring to go, you know, getting on the track with all the other other races, getting on the trains, you know, the big trains that are going through, some of them have got 20 guys in, you know, just, you're always pipping yourself against the guys that you're with and, and it's just, that's just part of the fun for me, you know, I love training but I really, really love competing so I just can't wait to get out. And talk us through how your preparation's gone during those four days, you've been out in the morning sometimes in the gym, you've been out in the evening on the track, what's a training session so far consisted of for you? Yeah, so you know, a lot of it's just kind of getting back up, you know, after the long flight, you know, you just want to get back in your chair, check it's rolling well because, you know, when you put it on a flight, you're always worried it might get damaged and then it's just been long. I've done a lot of long pushes and just, you know, just training and trying to get get back into the, the, the swing of pushing and, and being with people that are, you know, at the same speed or faster because when I'm at home, I train on my own. Well, I train with Isaac, but he's not quite my speed, so, you know, I'm, I'm out of the front on my own. So it's, um, it's good to be able to get out there, train, and actually have people that can push you. So, you know, when I'm, when I'm training out with Rich Kiyosaro, you know, that, that, that really does help because, you know, you've always got that element of competition. Whereas when you're on your own, the, the long nights of training on your own at the front is really difficult. So it's nice to, nice to have a few guys that I can actually push with. And you're one of a couple of athletes that are doing more than one event here, you're doing three. Yeah. Talk us through how preparation differs for both the one, the eight and the four. Yeah, I think, you know, they are, in a way they're kind of similar. So, you know, the, the hundred, it's all about the start, but then that works again for the 400. You know, if you don't get a good start in the 400, you, you, you're, uh, you've ruined your race, to be honest. So, you know, it, that, that's the idea for me. You know, you get, you, you work on your start for the 100, it works for the four. You still need a start for the 800. You know, you need to be able to get on the pack or even get to the front of the pack. So it is, it's, it's all about, for me, the, I take every race pretty similar. Uh, the 100 is probably one of my hardest events just because, you know, getting, getting the chair rolling is probably one of my hardest things. Once I'm rolling, I'm gone. So, you know, that's, that's, that's the hard bit of, uh, getting the chair going but you know I'm, I'm, my main event I'm looking forward to the 400 I think that's going to be the one. And how have you found the heat so far in Dubai? I'm loving it I think it's great you know everyone before we came was saying it's going to be absolutely boiling but I think you know, it's, it's lovely. We, we went out for a bit of a wander the other day and uh, I was quite happy to just sit out and sit by the pool and training in the heat you know it's been really nice. We had Spain for two weeks before so we kind of we've not come from like November cold we've, we've, we've kind of done it in stages so it's been quite a good transition and uh, I think it's, it's been a good move for us really. And talk us through your own personal expectations and hopes for the championships what do you want to get out of this? Yeah you know I, I, when I was in London I, I came sick in the 200 you know unfortunately we don't have the 200 metres here for the 54s uh, you know the 200 is one of my favourite events so unfortunately I haven't got that here but you know there's 28 54s here so you know even to make a final for me would be amazing because it just shows like you know top eight in the world really if you get into a final so you know a medal would be amazing but for me i think getting in a final is is just just as much of an achievement as a, as a team before and the european championships last year was again where you laid down another marker of what you can do on the world stage how important has that been getting the medals last year building into this year i think that's given me a lot more confidence you know i always used to go into a race and go he can beat me he can beat me he can beat me boys now i go into a race and go i can beat you i can beat you i can beat you you've never beaten me before and i think that that is a, it just that switching mindset it does definitely help to make you a lot more confident and actually it makes you race well because you're not thinking about where everybody else is you're just thinking about yourself and your own performance and your schedule pretty much runs through into the final day obviously there's the universal relay as well yeah. how are you going to be able to manage your time and the downtime and both competitions because there's days where you've got heats and finals on the same day yeah you know I, I, I love that you know when we're at home we train and we race like that you know when we're at Stoke Mandeville in the in the, in the in the summer we, we, we might do five six races in a day so you know it, we train that and when we're in Switzerland we might do the same so it does definitely help that we train that and race that at home um, and I think just having the opportunity to race um, like knowing you've got a final in the afternoon and you want to make that final so it makes you work the heat a lot easier a lot harder and another British vest for yourself. How special is this British vest in Dubai on the world stage once again? Oh, you know, it's always great to put the GB kit on. You know, I love it when you get the suitcase through the uh, through the door and you, you get to go through all the kit trying it on. You know, we've got uh, we've got you know we uh, me and Hannah we had a, a good time just 
like doing little fashion shoots and like stuff in the living room, just just trying on all the different kits. So and I think that's that's one of the, the beauties of it. You know, we get you get to put that GBS on. It's just that pride of of throwing the best on and um, just getting to race for your country. It's just amazing. And Thursday morning, I suppose, can't come soon enough. Just to get through the heat is job one, part one done. What would be, of the three that you're doing, your favourite event and the one that you really want to attack, if any? I think the 400 is going to be my, my big one. You know, we've got heats, semi-finals and the finals. So, you know, I've got to get through a lot of, a lot of rounds, but I think that is the beauty of my class. I love the, the fact that there is that breadth of the competition there. And I wouldn't want to be another class because, you know, you've got the, the competition aspect. And to race against 28 guys, you, you, if, you, if you make the final, you know you've achieved something. So I, I'm really looking forward to the 400, but then the 800 as well. You, anything can happen in 800. You know, there can be a crash. There can be, you know, the, the slowest guy can win sometimes. You know, it's just it, as that, and that's the thing I love about wheelchair racing is that anything can happen. When that gun goes, anyone can win.